Super, so that was the North Central. Um, We're going to go next to an introduction from the Pacific Islands. So um, I can invite uh, Jeff Burgett to turn on his video and share screen if you'd like to. So Jeff is the science coordinator for the US Fish and Wildlife Science Applications Program. And he's speaking on behalf of the Pacific Islands Risk Network, Jeff. Okay, so, um, are you seeing my screen? Yep, looks good. Okay, great. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. And I think also thank you for the inspiration that the Northeast CASP, or, or, sorry, Northeast RISC has um, has given people across the country. And this is uh, an opportunity to, I think, open a new chapter in our conservation work. So thanks very much. Anyway, first of all, I'd like to introduce the founding members of the Pacific Risk. We represent the State of Hawaii's Invasive Species Council, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the U.S. GS uh, Pacific Islands CASC, the East-West Center, and Sea Gaps which stands as the coordinating group on alien pest species. CGAPS was founded back in 1995 to focus on closing the gaps in prevention, detection, and control programs. This shows how addressing invasive species issues has been and remains a critical issue for both conservation and human well-being in the islands. The U.S. affiliated Pacific Islands include the state of Hawaii, the territories of Guam and American Samoa, the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and three independent nations in Micronesia that are affiliated with the U.S. This is obviously an enormous area uh, with tiny islands, and the islands have many unique conservation challenges. Islands also have fewer resources to address invasive species and are very vulnerable to climate change and sea level rise. The informal risk network that has developed includes scientists, resource managers, community members, regional invasive species councils in Hawaii and Micronesia, and students. We hope to bring in more participants from Micronesia and American Samoa this year. Uh, just for orientation, the Pacific Islands are quite different from North America in critical ways. Native species are mostly endemic and are vulnerable to novel diseases, competitors, and predators. Native species have mostly been eliminated from the lowlands where most people live. There's an ongoing spread of many established aggressive invading, invasive species. We have little data on most native species and many invasive species, which are not found in North America. There's a different mix of native and invasive species on each island. And climate change impacts such as drought and coral bleaching are opening up native dominated forests and reefs to invasive species. But we have some things going for us. The ocean is a barrier to terrestrial and many marine invasives. Human behaviors underlie the introduction of invasives and behaviors can be changed. The rate of climate heating on islands is a bit less than the global average due to the moderating effect of the ocean. That said, we're already seeing marine heat waves cause widespread coral bleaching. Our small but energetic conservation community thrives on strong collaboration and the conservation focus is already on invasive species management. We organized in 2019 and started our work with a survey of natural resource managers to look at what the needs were. A few big takeaways from our survey were considering climate change is important, but managing invasive species is the most important thing. There were high levels of concern about climate change impacts on invasive species management. Most respondents regularly use climate information in their work, but as Kerry noted in their survey, most managers' information on climate change came from immoral, informal conversations rather than technical literature or meetings. 22% don't refer to peer-reviewed literature at all. Following the survey, we publicized the findings with a webinar and had another webinar to expand our area of focus. We establish a listserv, which you're free to join. I hope you do. We're building a website with our identity in the URL. And we held a forum at the 2020 Hawaii Conservation Conference to convene our community and identify and prioritize our next steps. It was the ninth most attended 
uh, event at the conference. So we had over th almost 400 participants. There's a lot to do to meet the needs of this broad stakeholder community, as you can imagine. Uh, we plan to expand our core team beyond Hawaii, establish a science advisory group to identify priority lines of research and develop management strategies for invasives in a climate change context. Facilitate an information sharing network of resource managers, researchers, and community organizations. Create a platform for stakeholder engagement and communications of lessons learned both locally and globally, because there's a lot of other tropical areas that are facing the same invasive species that we are. And finally, move forward together with the other risks, fostering a common identity and sharing successful strategies, as this meeting is an example of. And I really appreciate your, um, your opening talk on uh, just actually laying out what the risk in the Northeast has been and how, what it's done and what's able to do in the future. So mahalo to the organizers for giving us this opportunity to talk about our efforts and our islands, and we look forward to working together.